And you can find headlines about high-end break-ins and illegals soliciting uh, minors for sex, violence like we've heard with Lake and Riley and Ruby Garcia. You can hear this and see this and read this every single day. How about in the Bronx, numerous illegal aliens found with numerous guns, cocaine, and other illegal drugs squatting. Just another day with an open border. Here it is. That we just obtained when police sprung into action, hopping out of their squad cars after they got a call about a man with a gun. When they arrived, they chased 24-year-old Hector De Soso Villata, believed to be from Venezuela, into the basement of this Hull Avenue home. Another man, 22-year-old Javier Alborno, tried to get away with another gun before he was also arrested. Playing on your screen now are four of the eight suspects that were under arrest being walked out one by one from police. When a search warrant was in place, investigators recovered two more loaded guns, three loaded extended magazines, a box of ammunition, and a bag of ketamine mixed with cocaine. Moments ago, we spoke with a neighbor just next yeah, door you have about it. the landlord and those uninvited guests. Let me tell you what the neighbor said. I can't believe this is happening in my neighborhood. You see, and this is happening in Chicago and New York and other big cities. Denver is waving the white flag. Like I said, just trying to get people out of there. Here's a bus ticket to anywhere. Please take it. The point being is, these are the big cities that often go deep, dark blue. Chicago's not going to. Denver, how could you possibly vote for more of this? Wake up. And the illegal alien surge is all over the country. It's not just in the Bronx or Chicago. In San Diego, it's tens of thousands just in the last few days and getting worse. Listen to this. The news nation has been able to confirm with Border Patrol sources that between the Tucson sector and the San Diego sector, the two sectors combined for nearly 76,000 apprehensions in the month of March. What is interesting is the Tucson sector continues to see a surge in migrants coming from African countries, while the San Diego sector continues to see a surge from Chinese nationals. Now, in Tucson, officials recently did get uh, additional funding approved, so we're not going to see those migrant street releases in Tucson. In San Diego, it's been over a month since the county has run out of funds, and we continue to see those migrant street releases. Sources in San Diego County confirming with me that in the past 33 days alone, officials have released over 20,000 migrants on the streets of San Diego, and they said to expect those numbers to continue to rise, as right now the county has no plans to approve additional funding for the migrant crisis. No funding. That means they're just going to flow in unabated, unvetted, and then unleashed into America, like we've seen in the Bronx or Grand Rapids. How many criminals are flowing into America from other countries right now, today? How many?